Not it for what? Well, you're it. You're the last one to do it. <laughs> okay. Hello. Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. Deuteronomy. You are? Who are I'm, you? I'm me. You guys know me. Okay. Goofball. Today we'll call him Goofball. In I'm the Goofy. chapel. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Yeah, De Deuteronomy. <laughs> Deuteronomy. <laughs> Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. 34-7. 34 34-7. Look like eight to me. Moses Two. was 120 years old when he died. Yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone. Lord, All please right. don't let her live to be 120. I knew that was coming. I let him pick the Bible verse, so you know it has to be a dig at my age. But you know what? It doesn't matter because whenever I die, I'm coming back to haunt you. Lord, please let me die first. <laughs> come back and haunt my children and make sure they're doing everything right. The way mommy would want them to do it. Oh, new Bible verse. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got 70 more years of listening to me do it here on earth. Oh, try a new Bible verse. You can't live to be 100. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. okay, moving on in the barn stalls. Let's talk about Coop. She's Coop, fat, Coop. sassy, and she happy to is. be She is. She was angry about being in the stall. We tried to get video of taking Moose. Come here. Come here, hot dog. Um, we tried to get video of taking the bandage off and that didn't work very well. She She's was a little pre-cooked so... Chinese food. It's not pre-cooked. Er, it's uncooked. raw. Raw. Raw Chinese food. <laughs> it's not Chinese food. Who's? <laughs> What's he doing? Is that Chinese food? That's He's what I'm been... snacking on. Today. We have Chinese food. He's been kind of my counterpart. Yesterday I had a headache and I didn't do a whole lot. And he stayed on the couch with me while I crocheted. And uh, take this little honker. Will you th put something with this tail? Um. He's anyway, so now. he's he's uh, kind of my boy. Um, he was underneath the covers and stuff with me all, like all day yesterday. And then of course he didn't want to sleep all night, did he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're snacking on some candy that I got for my birthday. Um, not a good thing, but I've got Pepsi because I didn't want to wait on my coffee to make. But I did just get a cappuccino with the at the gas station when we were coming home from doing the horse, which we'll get to that in a minute. So, bomb chicka wow wow. Coop, how's she doing? Good. It was literally just a pin prick on her artery that caused all that problem. It's healed. There's not really even a scab, right? Correct. Um, she was in the barn. She hates being in the barn, doesn't she? With a passion. Mm -hmm. um, she's out in the stall now, right? Mm -hmm. What made her get all worked up today? Uh, we brought sister's horse, Flinka. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I'm thirsty. I'll have a drink. It's my eye drops. I can't figure out Why how to did we have to bring Flicka's? Let's just move right on into there. Because Coop is doing good. We just need to keep her calm, and we had to yep. curtail that. Don't drink my saline solution either. <laughs> Are you teaching kids to drink medicine? It's not medicine. Yes, it is. It's my saline solution for my contacts. Oh. Here, kids, go get you a fountain drink. They're dollar ninety-nine. Dollar oh nine. Dollar oh nine at Border Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm they used to be eating kisses cents. because this is the only time that I get kisses of any kind, really. <laughs> Who should give them to you? Who, I know Pooh will lick me, but he also licks his rump with that, and I don't want kisses from that. <laughs> okay. So, explain what's going on with Flicka. Is she a bad horse? Yep, she's terrible. No. Yes, I mean, downright terrible. No, she's not. No, not really. I'm just being sarcastic. First off, her owner spoils her. Okay. Severely. Severely. But, she also, and Sister's the owner. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to keep in mind, number one, Sister rode horses out here, but she only lived out here for like a year with us. We didn't have all these horses when she lived here. We she had a roping horse. horse, and she rode 20-year-old roping horses that just wouldn't do anything. So she didn't learn to. Mm -hmm. She didn't learn to train or control or any of that. It was just horses that were already done. Mm -hmm. um, when RJ came along, he wanted a trained fancy horse. We didn't have the money for it, so I told him I'd teach him how to make one. And ever since then, we haven't really looked back, have we, son? Um, so she doesn't have the training. Chocolate's making my mouth stick shut. 
<laughs> this is why I don't eat on camera. Explain what's going on with Flicka, though. I'm in a staring contest with myself, okay? Talk to the people. Okay, all right, I'll talk while I stare. Um, I blinked. already blinked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so Sister didn't have the training with the horses. Mm -hmm. We got hurt. She wanted a horse. She got a little pony. Not I say pony. little pony. It's not a pony. What is it? My little it's pony. It's a little, probably 14 hands. Mm -hmm. Horse. And uh, she's a little bay thing. Mm -hmm. But Tori doesn't ask her to do anything. No. In other words, she's never tied her up. And Tori says, well, I don't have to. When I saddle her, I just leave her ground tied right there. Okay, but you have to teach these horses because the need arose to lead her with a halter and tie her up today. And what happened, son? She ran she backwards. She ran backwards and snapped the lead line, or the lead rope. So, you have to make them respect and know how to do this stuff, even though you don't have to have them doing this stuff every time. She's a three-year-old colt, correct? Mm -hmm. She's four now. She's four now. It's 2019 rolled around. January 1st, she's four now. And, uh... Up, oh, you blinked. <laughs> I win. <laughs> I didn't blink that time. Didn't blink that time either. <laughs> I really didn't blink that time though. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Why are you in a staring contest with yourself first off? See who wins. Nobody else will play with me. <laughs> And I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's half the owner's fault, half the horse's fault. The horse is stubborn, correct? Yes. Because she's never been made to do anything. The horse will do what my daughter asks her to do, but that's it. And she started cycling, the horse did, and it led to some alpha issues. So what did we do, son? Don't ruin your eyes, please. What did we do? We went and got the horse. Yeah, we were going to actually bring Tori out here to, to teach her how to train her own horse, correct? And right. how to work with her for, own horse. That is the thing is, sister doesn't have a round pin, does she? No. That's that's a real issue. Um, if you own a horse, start out with a round pin. House them in a round pin, but make sure you have a round pin. You have to have a spot to work them, right? Unless you have like a 20-year-old horse that just... Doesn't do anything, then you're fine. Yep. But then you wouldn't have to work them. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, I for should unwrap this candy, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, so Flick is here. You went out. We got her here. How long did it take us to load her? Oh, an hour, better. An hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. I'm not real sure what time we got there because we stopped and picked up sister. Oh, we left our house at 1235, so it made us up there at like 1245, 12.50. And it was 2.15 when we stopped at the, the gas, station. gas station and got me a cappuccino because I was wore out. I got me cherry Pepsi, folks. Cherry Pepsi. Cherry Pepsi. He's a dork. All right. You're not telling them anything they don't already know. You're right. Okay, so anything else in the barn stalls? The feed. Yeah, there was that thing. What's going on? Come on. Um, got to get the animals straightened back out on the good feed. Yep. How's that going? Months. Uh, pretty good. Um, we've had some yep. kids that are scouring, but the sheep are doing great on it. So. Yep. Sheep are doing better. They don't look great right now, but they're back to getting healthy again. Mm. Take slow little ways. Will to... we ever have to switch feed again? No. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. So, now we buy in bulk. We've got it under control. We've got the big feeder out here. Now, we did have a problem when the feed came in. What was that? That there was like 200 pounds that wouldn't fit in the tub. Alright, what happened? So we had to put it in the bag. We bought a container that was said to hold how many tons? 3.1 ton. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of... It should have held over 3 ton. Just a little bit. They put 3 ton and 60 pounds. On the load. On the load. How much went in... Uh, probably all but 200. There's. So from now on we're going to what? We'll order like two and a half ton because the bin won't be empty 
it'll still have feed in it. So we'll order two and a half ton to, mm -hmm. or two ton, just depending upon our. Depending on how much we've got in it. Yep. So um, that was our big deal. And how did the guy, he wasn't mad or anything, because we told him this is the first time we filled this bin. We were told this is the measurements. He said, okay, it should work. He backs up, this big boom comes over and sh starts filling. How did he handle the last of the feed left in his truck? He just took the boom down and stayed close to the ground. I put a sack under it and we sacked it up. Yep, and then you and Caleb? Carson. Carson took it in the barn. Yeah, because I got that one sack full. <laughs> <laughs> it was a two-man job. Yep. Okay, speaking of Carson, what else happened in the barn stalls? Who came oh. back to see us? Precious. Mm -hmm. Yep, and she is looking good. She is super spoiled too because how did Carson get her to load? With feet. So I guess did she have some... any problems loading for you? No. He walked up with his bucket of feet. He goes, Yeah, this is how I load her. He's like, No, it's not. The lady up on center in there. I said, There you go. He goes, Oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Done with the feet. Yeah. She doesn't need that, buddy. He's getting better. He's coming yeah. back though, isn't he? Yep. They're coming well, back. it's warm. It kind of got cold on us last time. Yep. So, when it starts warming up, I'm feeling Carson will come up and stay for a little bit. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but Precious is doing amazing. Yeah. Him and her are roping amazing. Like, they're made for each other, are they not, son? Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close. Because they run calves. Tell us about them running calves. They're doing good. He wrote, he come up Monday and wrote, did real good. Same day the feed came. Yep. All right. Anything else in the barn stalls? There was a thing. I don't start this. Okay. I know you don't feel great, so I'll cut to the chase. There was a thing, and I was going to tell you guys about that. I forgot about that thing. So I will just forget about the thing again. Mending fences. I haven't fixed anything. Haven't fixed anything and it shows, huh? Well, you tried to fix the gate, but it's I so cold. It. It's I fixed it. It stays up now. You just kind of got to like pop it in. Yeah, it's got to be done right. I fixed it right. When it hits just spring and it, it starts, March will start going through here and uh, doing all the lovely. So uh, in a week or two? <laughs> pretty much. Because <laughs> she says March and then it'll be like five days till March. She'll be like. All right, it's almost March now. Now let's do it. So basically, in like a week or two, she's going to be like, well, it's March now. No, Mom, it's like February 27th, okay? <laughs> There's Gotta only win. 28 days in February. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what, Mom? Anyway, but we'll go We're around. We're going to give three of... visits on the 29th, 30th, and 31st. Of February? February, yep. You do know that once every four years, there is a 29th, right? not this year, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't looked. <laughs> no, we're just free. We'll provide free lunches and everything, folks. Just show up on those days. No, don't say that. Because there is 20, February 29th. On this year of this day. Oh, only... 2019? Yeah, 2019. 29th, okay. 30th, 31st. Anyway. Free visits, free lunches, just show on up, folks. All right, so. <sighs> Mending fences, pretty much, in the yarn farm. Uh, I haven't spun anything. I've got the fleeces. I was going to get those out and get them posted, but I haven't gotten those. I did sell um, some soapy oats. Some soaps. <laughs> I'm waiting for the goats to come back into milk so that we can get They're some. They're getting big. Big old belly triplets, triplets. I hope. Or they swallowed a barrel. One of the two. Yep. Um. Okay. Next one. So. Uh, Not oh, my that's something we need to talk about, but we'll talk about it in the farm, in the yarn farm. We are in the yarn farm, aren't we? Okay. So this year's naming convention. It's not my department. What did we decide? That's not my department. We're not voting on it. We're not doing it. It is called Everyday Heroes. Correct. And TV shows and movies. No. Everyday heroes. So, if you have... Next year, I'm picking. You pick this year. I'm picking next year. We'll see. TVs and movies. We'll see. I'll give everybody, like, a penny if they'll vote for TV shows and movies <laughs> characters. 
I can't anyway, say a dollar because I don't get, have a dollar. Let's but. get going. Let's tell them how does this work. If you have a aunt, uncle, it doesn't have to be related. Just someone in your life that really makes a big influence or impact on you. If you're a grandma and you have a grandchild that amazes you every day, we will name a sheep after them. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to tell us why they're your everyday hero. And it doesn't have to be a long dissertation. It doesn't have to be a long essay. It can be, RJ is my hero because he makes me laugh every day. Um, <laughs> Mom is RJ's hero. Christy is RJ's hero because... Yeah, there's that vote of confidence, huh? Um, I know, I know, I know. Anyway. Because yeah, she doesn't not. let me starve to death. There you go. So, any small little thing. If you want to get into more detail, that's fine. All reasons will be posted on our blog. So, um, your name, their name, uh, for an additional fee. You can, we will print you up a certificate and a cute little letter, and we will send it to your hero, your everyday hero, if you get a hold of us and um, give us information. But you have to email us at rj at barnontheweb.com or farmontheprairie at gmail.com in order to get those done. And we'll have a web page all dedicated to that. I've been working to update the web pages. I'm a little behind on it. I know we're supposed to get the first of the year. It's February, but I have a day job. So, hey, cut me a little slack. We'll get updated by 2020. <laughs> no, we won't. Um, yours is pretty much done because he's home all the time. It's mine that's late. Oh, well. Uh, it's okay. She's a daylight and so, a dollar short, folks. Yes. Anyway, so naming things will be named after everyday heroes. If you have a favorite firefighter, Fred, a favorite Sarah, um, military donut man. Shop guy. The guy at the donut shop. If you are a, a cop and your favorite guy is the donut guy, there you go. You know? So. And if you're a, 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 a one of the night shift employees and the coffee delivery guy, your favorite guy, there you go. Yep. He's my hero. He if your hero. mechanic went over the top to come out and help you on the road to the side of the road because you were broke down, he could be your everyday hero. Mm -hmm. Right? If your dog is your everyday hero because he's always happy to see you. Yep. Yep. We can name a lamb after your dog. I and don't think we'll be sending certificates to those, though. I, I don't want to do them to eat them. So, um, if your business sure. is your hero, right? Well, technically, that's an inanimate object, so that wouldn't work very good. But, but we've you done can stranger things. Yeah, we'll mail yeah. your boss a little certificate that says, "Hey, <laughs> your business is named after a sheep is named after your business." <laughs> Just remember to take trademark into consideration, please. Yes. If um, Mountain Dew is your everyday hero. No, 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 no. That's trademarked. Oh. If Moosey Pooses is your everyday <laughs> hero. That was coming. My mouth was full before I could get anything out about it. <laughs> if he is your everyday hero, we will All name right. a sheep after Moosey Pooser. I'm here. The mouse and Pooser. So get your names ready because last year, the first one was Diamonds and Pearl, and they were born on what day? What day? Uh, February 14th. Oh, cool. Valentine's Day. So, anyway. All right, so. Way on the deal. Four days. Yep. I don't in like the garden, or. Four days. In the fields. I haven't been down to the garden. I haven't worked on the tiny house. It's, it's been swamp cold. It's ground down there. Pretty much. It is an it's anything I take down there. It's either frozen tundra or swamp ground. No yep. middle. There, there isn't, so. Um, in the farmhouse, what have you been up to? Freezing my keister off. <gasps> we gave away the yarn. If you are Sandra from the blog, you need to get a hold of us. Um, we're going to give her a couple of weeks to respond. If not... I said a week, not a couple. Well, because we're just now announcing it, and we did the drawing like three days oh, ago. <laughs> we'll give you a week from today. <laughs> yeah. And we'll post this 17th. on the blog. So it's like the 17th, 18th. And that mom will probably not. forget about it. So you got the probably the twentieth. I, mean, I just so get there it. There was only us three people that got it right, correct? Yep. One was Sandra. Uh -huh. There was one on Facebook, one on YouTube, and one on the blog, which was actually pretty cool. <laughs> and we wrote Facebook, YouTube, and blog on our on our sheets, sheets. of paper, so that we know where to announce it. it. Yes. 
Whoops. And so, um, these three people guessed that I was 50, and they are right. I am 50 years old as of February 6th. So, I'm Life's old. nifty after 50. <laughs> They've been teasing me about this. I think I look pretty good for 50. Oh, my eyes. Oh, oh. Okay, so here's the deal. I have said for the last 23 years that I am 27 years old, and I had one anniversary every year thereafter. So I said it was the 23rd anniversary of my 27th birthday. Um, one of my adopted brothers looked at me at, at my little dinner party thing there. They, they decided to surprise me with a party. <laughs> and uh, Simple Simon's Pizza. He, uh, yeah, you're going to have to tell him what happened here in a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> and uh, so we were sitting there and he says no you have to age because I am the youngest of my adopted brothers that was there I have another one he wasn't there and he's quite a bit younger than us so anyway um I looked at him and I said okay at some point I do have to age and I said fine it's the 13th anniversary of my 37th birthday so this year I aged 10 years all at once and I am now 37 and I have my Man, 13th anniversary of my 37th birthday all in all i'm 50 just saying i think i look okay you know get dinner specials shut up <laughs> and in the on the day of my birthday i got two things in the mail <laughs> by name <laughs> i didn't solicit aarp them. one was aarp and one was life insurance <laughs> mutual of omaha life insurance folks uh, for the like, elderly yeah. Yep, 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 yep. It was fantastic. So, I was like, hey, Mom, it look was what all you we got. got in the mail. And it didn't even say, like, resident or box holder. It said Christy. Christy Straw. Mm -hmm. Thanks, AARP and Mutual of Omaha's Life Insurance. Way to make a girl feel young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, tell them what happened on Wednesday or Tuesday. Actually. Oh, we threw a surprise party for mom, and apparently I'm the only one that can lie to her and not get caught. I was too preoccupied with everything else going on. So, oh, um, I just think I was good. Okay, I'm just For my birthday, I had told everybody, I just want a grown-up meal. I want to go out after the children have all gone to bed to a restaurant, a nice restaurant, where I can have a drink with my meal, not have to worry, you know. We got so, that plan. She has that plan. For I like had that planned. I'm for like, like eight, good. 8.30 that night. 8, 8 o'clock, I was supposed to be to a friend's house, and then him and I were going to go out, correct? Yep. Okay. So, and the weather was not cooperating, so he kept texting me, are we still on for the night? Are we still on for the night? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, I get off work. I've got to take and do some running in town. I didn't want to leave him with nothing to eat. Um so I because get to talk to me, back and get me. He, he ends up, he's, he says, Mom, I've got to run one errand. You need to come back and get me. And then go run your errands. And then we'll be back. You'll have plenty of time to get ready. I said, okay, fine. I even plugged in her curler. Yes, he plugged in my curling, my curler so I could do my hair and stuff. Um, I didn't have to be to my friend's house till 8. So I thought, I got this. He only lives, what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes from here. I got it. So we go do these errands. And I dragged my feet the whole time. Oh, my time. God. I took him to the grocery store. I said, whatever you want to eat, because I haven't done any grocery I shopping. I walked circles around there. And I thought he'd grab something pre-done, you know. Uh, so just I got, like, milk on himself. one side of the store. Went and got cheese sticks on the other side. Came back and got the eggs. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Back and forth. All the way so across. So I told him, I said, well, why don't you? And he was, oh, well, I called in a pizza. <laughs> Why are we at the grocery store? There was a few things I had to pick up. Um, like the, the milk, milk and eggs. And I'm picking up stuff I had to eat to. on the other side of the store. Like I walk over and, and I'm like, like Come oh, on. hey, I'm going to get this for dinner. And I'm then, like, really? Let's get this stuff and go. And so he was really irritating me. <laughs> like normal. This so, is nothing out of the blue. No, it's not. And I was preoccupied and I'm thinking, I have to be home so that I can get cleaned up. I come from work. I had on a, a yucky shirt. My jeans that I wear. I have two pair of I jeans that I just wear I got her convinced it took some hour to cook a pizza, too. <laughs> He told me, I said, well, let's just go pick up your pizza. And he says, Mom, they said it wouldn't be ready until 545. They're really swamped. And I said, it's a Tuesday. Why are they swamped? That's the best I could do. I went, we weren't supposed to be there until 6, but I thought 545 would have to work. So we're doing the grocery store, and then, of course, he forgot bread, which is on the other side. So 
had to go get the bread. And, then and there, there was like, like six bread. people looking at the bread. So I was like, oh, just hang on. We got plenty of time. We'll just be patient and wait on these people to get and the I'm bread. And I'm trying to go around to just get the loaf because I know what I need. <sighs> no, I'm like, oh, it's okay, Mom. We got plenty of time, you said. We'll just sit And I'm like, but son, I want to, you know, do then my Then I took the car, like, hair. all the way back in the store. Oh my god. And she just comes driving, driving the, me crazy. to get me. I'm like, oh man, this isn't killing much time. <laughs> so we get to the we get everything, get checked out, get in the truck. He takes the cart from the truck, and instead of putting it in the little stall right next to the truck, he takes it all the way back in the store. <laughs> and and back out. So I'm pulling around to pick him up, and I'm like, you are killing it here. I need to be able to get home and get ready. And he's like, oh, we got time, Mom. We got time. All right, my pizza's about to be done. We'll go get it. And I was like, oh, my God. And so I pull up into the pizza place, and I was like, just go get your pizza. He reaches over and takes the keys out of the ignition. He says, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> Because there was a little kid screaming said, in the window when we pulled yeah. up. <laughs> like, I said, what are you doing with my kid? He goes, I'm just sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. So my adoptive family had me a pizza party. A surprise pizza party. It was a real surprise, too. I was, it was. a heck of a good deal. It was. So I ate. If it wasn't for the pizza, we wouldn't have showed up, okay? I know. That was the joke all night that everybody just showed up for the free food. Correct. <laughs> What's what we make at so, every like family reunion? I mean, I know. We went to Nana's retirement party, and the joke was, is if they weren't serving good food, none of us were staying. Yep. So anyway, um, I ate. I have a hair. My ate face twice. I didn't. I didn't eat twice. Twice I ate like these little cardboard pieces of pizza. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, came home and got ready, and went out correct yep <laughs> we ate some amazing lasagna it was actually a three course meal and i got my dessert for free because it was my birthday i celebrate my birthday Yay. so it was good we had fun good talk we talked a lot about you everybody always talks about me all right so let's go it was fun, but had two parties one night, and RJ looks at me and goes, Mom, you only turned 50 once, so you need to party all you can. Why you still can is what I said. <laughs> there you go. That's what he said. Party while you still can, Mom. For so. too long, it'll be, oh, I lost my dentures the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be that. I can't go to second all. party because I, uh, I lost my dentures. can't eat again. Well, Mine at least I can only. drink at this one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So... All right, how'd your weekend go? I didn't go anywhere. How come? Well, I had to pay a vet bill. Mm -hmm. You worked some. Yeah, I worked some. Okay, and you had a visitor come up and bring Precious, right? Yeah, person come up and brought Precious. For your, that was so, Monday. Okay. And then you worked for your uncle a bit. Yep. Right? That's it. Okay. Pretty boring week. Mm-hmm. Anything else? This weekend I haven't done anything but sit on the couch yesterday. I'm just There's crocheted. a permanent indention in it now. There is not. <laughs> or poos curls up underneath the covers. Alright. Uh, anything else? No, um, right, we're done. Grab, well, no, on the porch I need my, my thing. Oh, i got two things to tell you about. Will you go get my crochet, please? I got this for my birthday. It's got a wood top. And it's a it's actually a light pink honeycomb thing. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. They had candy in it, but it blew my diet, so RJ is eating on it. Um I've been eating some of the kisses out of it, but and then my daughter got me um something that I'm sharing with another lady. Her and I are going to have lunch on the this next Wednesday. But they're these little cups and they say boss lady in pink. And they have da, 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 da. Um, I'm gonna put tea in hers, I think. She is diabetic and trying to watch her sugar. So we are um da, 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 da. encouraging her to eat healthy. Da, 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 da. This is my entrance. <laughs> da, 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 da. And there went your entrance. <laughs> okay, done. I lost da, da. the hook, so I don't want to pull on anything. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. All right, so do you remember what pattern this is? 
Whichever one the you said virus last time. meets granny square. Okay, I'm on my She's second old bow. enough to know how old a granny square of is. Yarn. So. <laughs> granny square's been around longer than me. So I'm on my second ball of yarn. About what, a couple days? <laughs> um, I really kind of like the pooling on this. I have no idea why, but I like the way it's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. So, itch, 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 itch. Okay. Sorry guys, I had There's to itch. the other side. And it's quite large now. So I have, you need to stop. I have Salute. this much left to go on the second row of this one, and then I've got another section of this to do. So, um, you have a lot to do. And then there's six rows. Really, I don't. I have one, two, Look three. At this she keeps ripping it out. Four. She four. Got quite a lot this time. Times four. No, that was from something else. Four oh. plus four is eight. She's recycling. Rose. I started something else and I didn't like the way it was to turn out. I didn't like the pooling. So I decided to turn it into this. So I've got eight plus six is 14. I've got maybe, I've got less than 20 rows to finish this. But the rows are getting longer. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So anyway, and then I will decide after I do those 20 rows, I will see if I want to add a section on or not. I was thinking I might make it a scalloped edge. I don't know. We'll see. In the pattern, it's not. It ends with a granny mm -hmm. square part. I'm not sure I want to mm. do that. And I'm definitely not doing the fringe. I'm not a fringe girl, so not happening. Anything you were working on? Where's that breast color you're supposed to put holes in or punch holes in? Still in the truck. Okay, what are you doing with it? Who Let's is it? What are you doing? It. It's for sister. It's for her horse. I'm supposed to poke some holes in it. Make it put that little... Wench we got out there today, misbehaving yep. thing. Yep. Okay. I've been trying to stay warm, mm -hmm. which is hard to do. It was. This week, the, the temperature has ranged between what? 60 something, almost 70. And, and 11. Light. <laughs> yeah. The high one day was like 27, 28. It felt like 10 degrees all day long. Mm hmm. But then, just days before that, it had been 60, 65, 70. 65, 68, almost 70. Well, hey, that's a long nail. Look at that. Oh, I'm wrong. Let's try the thumb war again. No. No, you tried to kill me with that. I actually trimmed some of them down because they were uneven. Look at this nail. When it's I like nailed, purple. Go away. My nail's like purple right there, folks. Mm -hmm. He smashed it. Mm hmm. Smacked it right there. What? Anyway. Oh. Alright. So, we got anything else going on? No. Don't forget, Sandra from the blog needs to email us at either rj at barnontheweb.com or farmontheprairie at gmail.com. Do farm on the prairie at gmail because I'm terrible about reading messages. Um, you can YouTube us here. You can yeah, message comment. us on Facebook. Yeah, you can you comment can and tell us, hey, wait, I emailed you guys. Click on it from the Facebook it. page. I mean, from the web page. Yeah. All that stuff. You can get a hold of us. <laughs> um, anything else? Uh. Sandra, oh, get your naming, your lamb and goats name ready, ready to name? Yep. Yep. So, um, anything else? Bow chicka wow wow. RJ <laughs> is going to take the camera and go out at some point this next week. I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday, I mean tomorrow or the next day. And um, look and see if he can get y'all some hoo-ha checks. See if anybody's backing up or anything like that. Okay, who, who are we watching? The, go pick that up. No, no, no. Do not get it. <laughs> Dork. Um, oh, yeah, I got it in. What are two that we have to be aware of? Now, there's some that we have to watch this year. Do we not? Who? Me and the fluffy. Oh, yeah, we have two morenos. We have two morenos that are first time moms, correct? Cha -cha -cha. Cha -cha -cha. Okay, cha cha, sit down. Sure. We have the two Marinos that are first time moms. That's Nina and Fluffy, so we'll be watching them really close, right? Oh, watch. I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> oh 
why is he doing this? I have no idea. Apparently, he's watching all of us. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're off of here, and if anything exciting happens, we'll let you know. Remember, we've gotten pretty much where we post on Facebook before we post anywhere else. Um, but we're going to do better this year about posting the babies to the blog. Okay, right? That's where we're going to try and post them first. Wrong button. Right?